Hello guys, this is JB, Drag Motocross Boss, and this is another JB Drag Storytime video. Warning, there may be yelling in this video. Also, I would appreciate if you guys would subscribe. It's free, easy, and you can always unsubscribe at any time, all right? It is my 16th birthday wish to get to 225 subscribers before my 16th birthday, which is on March 15, 2022. If you, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Well, consider subscribing. You do not have to subscribe. Remember this, you do not have to subscribe. In this story time video, I am going to be telling the story of when I lost my Lumber Tycoon 2 base and when I got it back. So when I lost my Lumber Tycoon 2 base and got it back. So it's a early, it's early in the morning. Actually, I think it's like 10 o'clock. I forget. No, 8 o'clock actually or 9. I don't know. It was, it was in the morning. Anyways. It was on November 26, 2021, all right? I woke up, and I was super-duper excited to start stocking up on the spicy turkeys, which were in this game and available to stock up on um, during Thanksgiving. Well, for less than 48 hours during Thanksgiving. Um, I forgot. What? Oh, my gosh. I just forgot what I was going to say. But basically, the spicy turkeys were available during Thanksgiving, for 48 hours, all right? So you they're available to stock up on, all right? Um, anyways, I go to look in the store, Woods R Us, which were where the spicy turkeys were, and they were not there. And I was extremely shocked because, well, the turkey leftovers, which is this item, was um, the Thanksgiving stock-up season item that you stocked up on um, in 2020 did you know according to the lumber titan 2 wikipedia or i i don't know i is this on the wikipedia i don't know i actually i don't know where this is from so don't take my word for that i don't know where it's from but all i know is that um i think i think the page said fandom i don't know but it was i was reading something online about um the stop what uh the 2020 turkey leftover um stock up season item did you know that the spicy turkey was originally supposed to release in 2020, but Defaultio was too late, I'm pretty sure. So he decided to add in the turkey leftovers a few days later. And then, well, as you know, this well may know, well, actually, I just told you the spicy turkeys, um, well, we're put in the game 2020 in 2021 of Thanksgiving. Anyways, um, I'm shocked to see that the spicy turkeys aren't in the store anymore because it hasn't even been 48 hours that the spicy turkeys were in the game and they already were taken out. So anyways, I um, I, un I basically leave the game and I go back into my private server to check and see that if it was a bug or not. Like I was thinking... There's no way that the spicy turkeys were taken out of the game this soon. Well, apparently they were. So, yeah. Um, I was, like, trying to, like, reload things. Like, basically reload the server a ton of times. And one big mistake I made was I shut down my private server while my base was loaded in. And apparently, your base can get wiped if you do that by a game bug. And that's what ended up happening. And I basically um, loaded in my base. And I saw that um, in the preview, you know how like um, in Lumber Tycoon 2, before you load in a base, there's like a green version of your base. Well, basically, it was just one plot of land. And I was so confused, okay? I was so, so confused. I, I, because... It didn't show, like, all the walls and the ramps and all the stock-up season item. No, it just showed one tiny plot of land. And I was I loaded it in, and yeah, it was just one tiny plot of land. And I tried reloading the base multiple times, leaving the game, you know, everything I could. And yeah. It was still one small plot of land with absolutely nothing on it so i filled out the lumber tycoon 2 revert log all right and actually um 
I accidentally filled it out twice. I I think I loaded it up once, and I thought that after you filled it up once, that Google or whatever ran that would already know that you filled it out. So I was gonna like go in and check again, and I accidentally ended up filling in the Lumber Titan 2 revert log twice. Uh, again, I sincerely apologize for, for that. I'm sorry for um, confusing anyone for accidentally loading in the um, Lumber Titan 2 revert log twice. Well, not loading in. I'm um, submitting the Lumber Titan 2 revert log twice. Okay. Um, I did not do it on purpose, okay? So, I'm, I'm again, I'm sorry for accidentally doing that. All right, mistakes happen. Anyways, I failed the Lumber Ty Tycoon 2 revert log, and basically what that is supposed to do is get your base back. And, well, I wouldn't have these items. I wouldn't be putting these items in this truck right now if the Lumber Tycoon 2 revert log did not work for me. Anyways, I failed the Lumber Tycoon 2 revert log, and then I watch, well, after watching a video, I think uh, um, one of Heath Haskins' videos, and basically Heath Haskins lot is, lo, uh, lo, sorry, lost, not lot, lost his base to an exploiter. So he filled out the Lumber Tycoon 2 revert log, all right? And um, basically he got his base back, but a couple saves before. So he lost a couple things. Um, but yeah, this was 23 hours after. And. Basically, I was like, okay, I'm going to give myself 24 hours. I'm just going to wait 24 hours, and if my base doesn't come back by then, then I'm going to consider it gone. So basically, um, I also was planning a lot. I, I also was doing a live stream on um, November 26, 2021. So um, if, if you guys saw that live stream, I'm, I, I think Astro Alex also was watching that live stream too. I forget. But... Um, yeah, I think Astro Alex is the one to offer me offer me some stuff, but I I, I forget. It might have been someone else. But anyways, during that live stream, yes, I'm extremely sad that I lost my base to this um bug and I'm really really disappointed and just really really sad having a terrible 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 day. So, anyways, it's over 24 hours after I um, filled out the Lumber Titan 2 revert log. And my base is not back. And at this point, I consider my base gone. Um, basically, what the, some YouTubers were saying, because I saw Heath Haskins video and um, other YouTubers videos, is that if you load in the base after your base gets deleted, then... Um, you could risk your base being gone forever and um, making it to that you can't um, get your stuff back ever, no matter what. And the revert log can't do anything about it. Basically, I already loaded in my base a few times, and after 24 hours of not having it loaded in, I basically considered my base gone. I tried doing something because I was like, What's it going to bother if I load in my base one more time? I mean, I already loaded it in, like, what, five times after it got um, erased. So I think it, I loaded it in the sixth time. And I tried buying land, seeing if that would do anything, and, and it didn't. Um, maybe it was a stupid decision of me, but um, I was really, really, really wanting my base back. I guess you could say um, I was... I was very, very, okay, I'm just going to say this. I was very, very sad that I lost my base, and I really, really wanted it back. Basically, a week after, and my base is not there, and I consider my base pretty much gone. Um, if you guys have seen earlier videos, well, in De December of 2021 videos, December 2021 videos, um, I started a new base, and um, on that base, there is going to be a base update video probably um being released at the end of january okay so get ready for that all right um the progress that i made on that base may just shock you may just knock your socks off anyways um after when wait what was i saying yeah i started my new base and um when I got my first truckload of the Christmas 2021 stock of season items, 
I was extremely sad because I'm used to using the door bridge, this door bridge specifically. And, um, I was, I was, but at, like for once I, I actually had to, um, use the bridge that you pay money for a hundred money in lumber tycoon two. Um, this money up here in game money. So I actually felt extremely sad because I was not used to um, going across this bridge and I was used to going across this bridge. So um, I was extremely sad once I went across this bridge and um, well, the this bridge. And when, when I came back, when I just saw one, like after I um, unloaded my truck or actually I think it respawned my truck, I was just extremely sad just to see one pile just one pile of stock of season items when i used to have well actually this plus all of the items that i already transferred to my alt account so i went from all those items to basically just one truckload and eventually i um got better and better well no well what's the way to say this i I, I eventually um started to move on all right um i did I, m my friends actually said that they would give me crap tons of items to make up for all the stock up season items that I lost. And thank you guys for doing that. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, well, it's they actually didn't get to giving me my items yet. I don't know if they're busy or not, but that's all right. And actually, that's good that they didn't give me the items back because suddenly my base reappeared almost two months later. Anyways, um, I basically stock up the entire month of December and slowly and slowly I get over my base. And yeah, I just accept the fact that my base is gone. My friends are, and I also think my friends are probably going to give me um, my items back. Well, not the specific items, but you get what I mean. Like they're going to give me items. Well, actually, yeah. Well, specific items, like the same type of items, but not the specific items, like these specific items here that I lost. Um, but anyways, I just had it in my mind that I um, will eventually get those items back and that all these items are gone. And I just moved on. Um, I built a door bridge. I built on my base. I stocked up in um, December of 2021. It's a good... The, let me tell you, um, it's a good thing that, um, I did not let, like, it's a good thing that I did not let my emotions stop me from stocking up. I basically power through, moved on, and I stocked up. And believe me, I felt like not stocking up anymore. But, like, the, the very beginning of December 2021, I felt like, oh my gosh, I lost all these items. I don't want to stock up anymore, okay? It's just making me sad that I lost all these items and just having to start over. And yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, I don't want to stock up anymore. And I eventually pushed myself to stock up. I was thinking in the back of my head, JB, you're gonna highly regret not stocking up in December of 2021. No matter how sad you may feel in the moment, you should just move on and start stocking up. And I did. And I thank myself for making myself stock up in December of 2021. And a lot of good stock up season videos were uploaded in December of 2021. Um, but anyways, this day is... Oh, I actually forget the day. Oh my gosh, I'm such a fool. December 19th... No, Jan, no, not December. January 19th, 2022. Well, I don't know if this is the exact day the base came back. But I know that that's the day that I discovered that my base got back. Basically, I was loaded in um, my new main base, and I looked at my menu, and I saw like a date, like the data size said ten, and usually it says one because well, my base was erased. Well, it said ten, and I was like, wait, there's no way that's true. How does that say ten? So then I um reload my base and then i see that it says 10 and i'm like wait there's no way that my base is actually back and well i load up my base and the moment i saw the green blueprint for not blueprint but like you know that like i explained earlier that the green like um 
version of this space. When I saw all these items in green and all these walls in green, once I saw like the green version of everything, like the the version of it that you see before you load in the base. Oh my gosh, I was just so unbelievably overwhelmed with happiness. In fact, I'm going to admit it. I actually teared up, teared up, tears of joy. All right, I teared up. That's how much I love this game. And that's how much I spend time stocking up and seeing these items come back after accepting the fact that I lost these items. That's just got to be super duper ultimate happiness. Imagine losing a ton of progress in a game and then you eventually accept that you lost it and then it comes back out of nowhere. Yeah. That's that's how I felt. This game is extremely important to me. And you could probably tell because I stock up a lot. I stock up a lot. So that's that's how you could tell that I love this game. I stocked up pretty much as much as I could. The only game I really played in October, um, November, and December. Well, actually, November. Stock up season is not the whole month. But what I'm saying is during stock up season, the only game I really play is Lumber Tycoon 2. That's really about it. Maybe once in a while I'll take a break to make a Minecraft skin, or I'll take a break to play some Minecraft, maybe play some Speedrun 4 or Funky Friday on Roblox. I'll, sometimes I take a break, but most of the time I just stock up. That's how important stock up season is to me. So I don't know if this base came back on um, Tuesday, January 25th, tu Tuesday, January 26th, 2000, or no, not 25th, my bad. I don't know if this base came back Tuesday, January 19th, or did I say 26th by mistake? My bad. It's Tuesday, January 19th, 2022 is when I found out that my base came back. I don't know if it came back on january 18th 2022 i don't know the exact day but i know that i figured out that this base came back on wednesday january 19th 2022 and i oh my gosh i am extremely extremely happy i i'm i'm just unbelievably happy i when i loaded in and i saw my items I, I felt like it was too good to be true. It was just so strange seeing all my items after not seeing them. And at the same time, accepting the fact that I would never see them again. Imagine that. Imagine that. Oh my gosh. I, 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 this is just... I, I just, as speechless as I am right now, is how I felt when I noticed that my base came back, and I was just tearing up, and I was, I was screaming. I was so excited. I was jumping with joy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just can't believe that my base came back. Also, Roads of Flamma Pumpkins are one of my favorite, if not my favorite item in all of Lumber Tycoon 2. All right. I don't know if I've I've told you guys this before, but Roads of Flamma Pumpkins are so, so awesome. Actually, I did. I did. When I was talking about how I had some on my YouTube base. And I was like, oh wait, I didn't realize. I have a lot of these on my YouTube base. And I was extremely sad about the fact that I lost a ton. And now they're back! Rosa Flamma Pumpkins! Oh my gosh. When I talked about those Rosa Flamma Pumpkins on that YouTube... On, on that video on my YouTube base. Oh my gosh. I was actually kind of sad that I lost a ton. And now I have them! Yes! Rosa Flamma Pumpkins! I don't know why they're my one of my favorite items, but I don't know what makes it one of my favorite items. They're, they just are one of my favorite items. They're so legendary. Oh my gosh. It's, it, they're just so amazing. And also, I got these other items back, like these uh, book presents from 2020, these ball presents from 2020. Even got some green and purple candy bags and, and some ghastly pumpkins, too. Tire presents, too. Oh, my gosh. 
I actually couldn't believe how many opened um, turkey leftovers I had in the middle of my pile. And once I started going through it, it I was just like, holy cow, I have a lot of these like opened. Oh my gosh. All, all of these presents restored. The only thing that I still do not have that I lost, the only thing left is five and a half truckloads of spicy turkeys. All right. If you guys have five and a half truckloads of spicy turkeys, or at least some spicy turkeys, then feel free to comment, JB, do you want some free spicy turkeys? Actually, that's kind of, isn't that kind of rude for me to say? I don't know, but I will, if I don't say this, then I, that definitely will sound rude. You do not have to give me spicy turkeys, but if you want to give away some spicy turkeys, then just feel free to comment, JB, I got some spicy turkeys for you. And even, even if you just want me to, to pay 10k each for spicy turkeys, I may just end up doing that, all right? I may just end up buying some spicy turkeys, because, because I was actually around to play this game to stock up in 20... 21 and i do not have i have hardly any of a 2021 stock of season item and it's a spicy turkey and i really want some of them at least i have rosa flama pumpkins oh wait i know why it took me so long to fill up the last truck load it's because i i think i feel put in my truck a lot of little book presents that's why okay i'm almost done with um transferring items from base to base like, I, I, I am almost finished. And also, I have items on another base, by the way. That's not all the items, all right? I actually, yeah, I transferred some of my items on another base, but I didn't want all the items to be transferred to the same base on my alt account because I didn't want there to be a lot of lag for my alt account, so. Anyways, yeah. I just put some on one base and put some on the other. I, I just, I know I'm, like, making this video extra long, but I apologize. But I just want to, like, explain, like, everything, like, my experience for um going through this pile of stuff. My experience with losing a base and immediately getting it back. Um, I am going to tell you, I'm probably going to use this base in the future for um some kind of, like, I don't know, like a Truck Wars arena, I think. I don't know. It's a good base because I'm not going to really have that many items on this base since they're all going to be trans... Most of them are going to be... Yeah, I don't think I'm really going to be leaving too many presents behind on this base. But basically, I'm going to be transferring 99.99% .99 of items onto my new main base. Therefore, not that much lag. Therefore, it's a good base to have a nice Truck Wars arena so that me and my friends could play a nice game a nice friendly game of truck wars and they don't have to lag out at the same time um i think that's going to be it for this video i apologize for making this video extra long but like i said i want to explain like every single little detail about getting my base back all right and how excited i am for getting my base back anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, peace out.